Hey guys, it's your boy and welcome to my review for episode 20 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Viva Los Pegasus. So, oh, we finally see the MLP equivalent of Las Vegas. And it was okay. Um. It was probably what we were pretty much all expecting, like a kid-friendly version of Las Vegas. There were no mares sliding down poles. There was none of that stuff. Uh, uh, if only, if only this show was aimed at a, at a, um, was actually aimed at an older audience. It has an, us older friends, but it doesn't aim to at us. It's a kids show. But, uh, if it if it wasn't a kids show, I can imagine Las Vegas this would have been a lot different. <laughs> oh, that that would some. Oh, yeah, it's probably already. He come up with an idea, some form of idea like that, but that's not for me to judge. Let's get into the uh, the episode. So the episode was another cream map episode. This time, Applejack and Fluttershy. The uh, second episode to mainly focus around these two, if you count bats as the first. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies, bad cough. Um. Yeah. So, a lot different from bats. They're not arguing over something this time. This time, they've been sent together to solve a problem. And lo and behold, of course, the problem is with the Flim Flam Brothers. And I was like, when I first heard the song, I was like, no, not again. Stop bringing back the same characters into this <laughs> new ones for fucking sake. I was like, okay, give this episode a chance. It might surprise me. And to be fair, it was okay. It was refreshing that this episode didn't did it it swerved us. We all thought let's let's be honest. We all thought that Flim and Flam were gonna be the villains of the episode. And they weren't. It was the um the Wonkamer guy. He yeah. who welcomed Applejack and Fluttershy when they got to uh, to the um location in Las Pegasus. And I have to say, he look when I look back at it, I was like, yeah, looking back at it, it makes sense. I, I could tell, even though I knew he was the villain of the episode, looking back at it, because I felt, I felt like I needed a second viewing. And so, yeah, I watched the, the episode twice. That's something I only do Ooh, before a review. Ooh, but I felt like I I, I I wanted to double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah. Flim Flam were our had a problem. Apple Heck had to get over her issues with them in the past. So she had to help them. I guess that's why Fluttershy was there, because she was kind enough to see he passed what Flim Flam had done in the past. You know, it didn't directly affect Fluttershy, he can say, but it obviously affected our true Applejack, because Applejack is a friend. And, yeah, you, know, you, you get, you get, if you watch the show, you get, well, if you don't watch the show, then why are you watching this review? 
is like, oh, let's listen to this review of an, a show, an episode for a show I do not watch. Why not? That's the case. More power to you. But you will be completely lost at what I'm talking about. Do not watch the show, so. But yeah. Upon second viewing, as I was watching, I was focusing more on the, the guy who turned out to be the villain because I was like, Looking for something that tipped me off is just his mannerism that did. It, it did. Like, say, you know what? I can see how I missed that. So, the second viewing actually helped. It really helped. So, yes. Good. Good idea to do that second viewing. But yeah. So, he. So in the end, Flim Flam's problem was solved. They now run that place because and was exposed as being being a bit of a dick, to put it lightly. And then yeah, I guess that means we'll never see an episode where Flim and Flam are antagonists again. I guess this is another one episode reform. Hmm. Which is pretty much the norm for the this series. And you can bet it'll happen again in the finale. Because as, as the two part for the synopsis is saying the return of one of the greatest threats which can only be one group. Oop. And yes, it's a group. Oop. To those of you say, and it could be be two different villains. I don't think it's gonna be Chrysalis and Sombra. I think it's just gonna be the chain things in Chrysalis. But I'll get on to that when the the, the finale the two part airs. But yeah, this episode was okay. Um, I think I would have enjoyed it more if it had been a little more out there. A little more, you know, it didn't have to, you know, it could have suggested at there being a more or adult version of the city. Like, maybe, the... I don't know, maybe Fluttershy could have saw us and I said, Mares, Mares, Mares! <laughs> and she'd be like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> it's just a club for... 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 us Mares? <laughs> so she, she wouldn't be freaking out. <laughs> like, she probably wouldn't go in there. <laughs> because she wouldn't know what it is, but... She'd be confused. Why the name was... Just... Just something like that would have been a little more interesting. But, you know, this episode isn't a bad one. Hmm? The one episode before Herm is dull and tedious and repetitive, but what can you do? All in all, I'm giving this episode. Six and a half. I was gonna give it seven, but upon second viewing, I was like, "Would I watch this again? Maybe, but not for the Reformation. The Reformation. Every Reformation is like a down for me. It's like a negative for it, the episode. It was okay for Discord, but." Because he actually, he's actually done shit since he's been redeemed, reformed. What have the others done since they've been reformed? Rixie tried to steal. He'll start. And we hey, purely to get back at Twilight. He, yeah, such a good guy behavior. Yeah, that's such a good guy behavior. Wrong. Diamond Tiara hasn't done any 
anything noteworthy. I mean, she seems to be acting a lot nicer since, since she stopped being a bitch. But considering she's she was bullying the CMC for for fucking five seasons, and she is not allowed to be reformed. And anyone who's accepting her reform, you're, you're enabling her. You're enabling her. She should be punished for all that bullying. But no, it's being completely forgotten about because she's nice now. She's nice now. Oh, let's forget that she was a bully. She's nice now. Flim and Flam is the same. They've done bad things in the past. And well, this episode... Was it... It was okay. He, the Reformation, again, it's not something... I don't... I don't want to constantly see the bad guys reformed. So yeah, six and a half out of ten. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Reformation and what did you think of the episode? Until next time, thanks for watching, I'm Joy, and until then, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.